Hey everybody, my name is Russ and welcome back to another episode of Smokes Rolling. What I've got on tap tonight is a local favorite. Um, many of you that know me know that I am from Springfield, Illinois. I was born and raised there. A lot of you out there don't know, probably don't care. Uh, but with that being said, uh, what I want to cook up for you tonight is a local favorite here in Central Illinois. It hasn't gone that much further out of this area. Uh, Springfield, Illinois is known for two things. Crooked ass politics and the hamburger horseshoe. Uh, so tonight, I don't want to contaminate my grill with any crooked ass politicians. I want to make you all a hamburger horseshoe. Stick around. This is going to be really cool. It's a down home comfort food. Anybody can make it. It's really simple. It's really good. So stick around with me. We're going to get this done. Check it out. Alright everybody, before I get started on this and showing you the ingredients that I'm going to be using, what I wanted to do was make this as simple as possible. Uh, you can get all fancy with this if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that tonight. I mean, I'm just really not in the mood. I just want to show you how we can throw something together right fast and, uh, and make it to where everybody can enjoy it real quickly. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to get the ingredients together. I'm going to show you what we got going on. It's going to be simple. Alright everybody, for tonight's ingredients, what I've got is milk. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a bit. Texas toast. Because everything's bigger in Texas, right? I don't know about all that. Anyway, butter. Salt, pepper, and yep, I'm going non-union. Going with a can of uh, Campbell's uh, cheddar cheese sauce here, and that's why the milk is involved. Frozen French fries, one pound, uh, seventy-three twenty-seven ground beef. I like a little bit more fat in my food. Uh, I know a lot of people go 80-20. I don't know. I mean, give me 73-27. I'll take a little bit more fat. I'm cool with that. I need to fatten up anyway. Paprika. And my own homemade hamburger spice rub. It's got uh, some seasoning salt. A little bit of Montreal uh, steak seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Damn good stuff, man. Of course, once again, beer. But anyway, I'm going to get all this thrown together and uh, I'm going to show you how I get this done right quick. know what this means. It's time to get a smoker rolling. See you in a bit. Alright everybody, I've got the smokes rolling. Um, what I've got here some uh, hamburger patties that I made up. You know, I just showed you how to do that, but I don't think I need to. There's plenty of people out there that know how to make a hamburger patty. If you can't make a hamburger patty, <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is throw these on the grill right now. Got a nice hot searing heat. And I've got three of these made up, by the way, out of that pound of hamburger. I'll flatten them down pretty thin. Um, the reason why I did so, you don't want them real thick. If you have them real thick, they're going to turn into big old hockey pucks on you. And not only that, but we're using actual Texas toast on this recipe. 
So, that's what I've got going on. I got some big ass hamburgers right there. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle them with a little bit of my uh, homemade seasoning. On that side. I'm gonna let those go for about uh, three, four minutes per side. And then I'm gonna give them a flip, put some seasoning on the other side, and we'll be back, man. All right, everybody, I don't know how well you can see this uh, through all that smoke, because <laughs> it's rolling, man. Uh, but the juices are starting to flow through to the top of those burgers. So what I wanna do right now, since they're starting to flow through, you can see that maybe on that one. I don't know how well you can see that but that's what's happening. You see those juices on that burger? You see it come flowing through the top? Give that a flip. Oh, look at the char on that burger, man. Oh, yeah. Kissing those flames, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This one ain't ready yet. I'm gonna put that back on there. Keep that baby over a little bit. You get this up here, let kiss the flames a little bit. We'll be right back, man. All right, y'all, those burgers are done. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them off onto a plate. Look how juicy those suckers are, man. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna wrap them in aluminum foil. That fire is just a rolling. Shut that down. But I'm gonna take these inside, let them rest for a little bit. We'll be back with the next up, y'all. Alright everybody, what I got here is a uh, I don't know, a cookie sheet of frozen french fries that I have liberally dusted with salt and pepper, a little bit of uh, seasoning salt. Yes, Keith Betag, uh, potatoes, they got to have salt, man. It, there's just no two ways about it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and stick those on here. Not only that, but I've got that uh, Campbell's uh, cheddar cheese sauce with one third of a cup of milk. If I need to add one way or the other, I will do so. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and stick that on. And uh, we'll be back in a bit, man. If I can get this to fit. That ain't going to happen. Anyway, we'll do it like that. There you go. Smoke's rolling. We'll see you in a bit. All right, y'all. I've checked these fries. They're done. And by the way, just in case you want to know, that is the same spatula that I used uh, with the uh, burgers. Don't worry, it's been clean. So all the food police out there can kiss my ass. These fries are done. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those off of there. I still got a little bit of more work in the cheese. And uh, we're going to toast some uh, Texas toast here in a bit. Y'all stick around, man. This is going to kick ass. All right, everybody. I've got this uh, cheese sauce thinned down to about, about where I want it. Yeah. Yeah, that's about nice. All right, that's the way I want it to look like, and we'll be back with the next step, y'all. See you in a bit. All right, everybody, what I got here, three slices, big, thick-ass Texas toast, man. Buttered on one side. 
going to throw them on there. I'm going to let them toast for a little bit. Won't take long. We'll be back. Alright everybody. Like I said, this uh, Texas toast ain't going to take long. It's been about 30 seconds that they've been on the grill. Get over there. I don't want them over direct heat. I just want them to toast a little bit. Um, what I'm going to end up doing next is give them a flip here in a minute. First, I got to drink a beer. Because beer is good. Take a look at these. No, nope. one a little more done than that. Take a look at this one. A little more done than that. Want to take a look at this one? Nope, I want a little more done than that. Um, what you're seeing on that bread is actually grill marks, caramelization, or the carbon carbonizing from the grill. Um, I'm gonna give that about 10 more seconds on each side. Well, on that side anyway, on the buttered side. Man, it's really fucking hot out here. Phew. Anyway. I think I'm good with that. I'm pretty good with that. Pretty good with that. All you're wanting is a, all you're wanting is a light toasting on this bread. Both sides. Um, put the butter on there just to give it a little extra flavor. So that's what I got going on. I'm fixing to pull these off in about man, I don't know, about 10 seconds. You can feel the toasting going on there. I don't like my bread burnt. Ooh wee, it's hot out here. I am on a roll with that, y'all. Looks good to me, man. Okay. I'm going to plate this bread up. We're going to take it inside. Shut this grill down. We'll be back. See you in a bit, man. Alright, everybody. This is what I've got going on right here. So I've got this Texas toast. Two slices going down. Two hamburger patties. And this is the reason why I made them so big is to cover that Texas toast. All right. This melted cheddar cheese. Smother it just like that. Each one of those patties, each one of those pieces of toast. Okay. Now I told you all I think this is not a healthy dinner. But you know what? It doesn't matter because this is good stuff. On top of that, we got the fries. On there just like that. Put a few more on them because what the hell I like fries. Okay, y'all. Top it off. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this fresh cracked blackjack. Just like yay, just like so.
top that off. Paprika. And Keith Bettag, I sure would like to have some of the hot smoked paprika. I've got smoked paprika, but I don't have that, any of that hot smoked paprika. Alright. Let me grab the fork. Pardon the mess. That's how things roll. I'm going to dig into that, man. I'm going to grab me some uh, french fries. Some of that great burger. Cheese. Texas toast. Can you see me? Alright, this is what I got going on right here. Local Springfield favorite, y'all. Yeah. Welcome to Illinois. Bad politics. Damn good food. Yeah. Man, that was good. I'll have another bite of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come here. Get on it. Get back here. Mm. That is really good stuff right there. Y'all, I want to give a shout out to a good buddy of mine, Ray Mack. R A Y M A C K. That boy's been on here for about five, six months. He's got some pretty good stuff going on. Um, so I'd appreciate if y'all check him out. Because he can use your sport. So. But uh, that's what it is, man. The hamburger helper. Or hamburger helper. <laughs> Hamburger horseshoe. Don't ask me why they call it a horseshoe. It doesn't look anything like a horseshoe. But it's fucking good. So y'all give this a try. It's super simple. Absolute comfort food. And by the way, the reason why they call this is a horseshoe It has two pieces of Texas toast and two hamburger patties. If you want to cut that in half, it's called the pony shoe. Alright? Oh my god, man. Ooh wee! Mm. Stuff's really good. Like I say, it only takes about 30 minutes to make. Real simple, real easy. This was my uh, non-union version of it. Stick around later on. I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, come up with a union <laughs> version of it, and oh shit, that's good. But this is a Springfield, Illinois favorite. You can do this in so many ways. Uh, my buddy Greg McCutcheon on his channel does a pork tenderloin. This can be done with a pork tenderloin, trust me. Uh, there's breakfast shoes where you can take that toast, you can uh, put some ham on it, fry up some eggs, smother it with uh, hash browns. And uh, sausage gravy along with cheese. 
you can use uh, you can use chicken breast, uh, pork tenderloin, like I said. Man, this stuff is killer. Uh, I don't even think my wife ever heard of this until uh, until we got together. So, uh, and she's from Illinois too. Um, it's very rare. I mean, I mean, it barely gets out of Springfield, Illinois. But if y'all get a chance just to do this, like I said, it's homemade comfort food. Pardon my mess. I'm a slob. But uh, it's homemade comfort food. This stuff is really, really, really good. Uh, so give it a shot, y'all. If you like this stuff, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, at least leave a comment. That way I know what I need to do to uh, make it better. So uh, give it a shot, y'all. Homemade comfort food, the hamburger horseshoe. We'll see you next time, y'all.